Welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin. I garden in Zone 6 in Northwest Connecticut, and it's freezing out today. What we're going to do today is we have a fountain in our front yard that we're going to try and convert, put a boxwood and some greens around it to make it uh, for holiday versus just covering it up so we can't see it. So um, let's get going. If, if you are a new, new, uh, new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. Appreciate your support. Hit that like button and let's get to uh, planting a container or a fountain, I guess I should say. So this is the Campania fountain that we have in our front yard. It's beautiful. We love it. We've already taken the center uh, pieces out that actually, you know, uh, the bubbler. Um, and we're going to be lining it with plastic. We're going to do a double liner of plastic. We're going to put a boxwood in the center. And I also have um, a really beautiful plant support that we had uh, in the front uh, during the rest of this year in the, uh, with the roses um, that we're going to try and get in here. And then I'll fill it in with greens. So this is going to be a little bit of a three-step process here. So here's our plant support, and then we've got our boxwood here. We've got some greens here. Um, so we're going to get going with our plastic, and we've got all our potting soil ready. Again, here's our, here's our fountain. And let's see if we can get this converted into something for the holidays. Okay, so we're going to take the, uh, the, the recycling um, mechanism, and we're just going to push it to the side so it doesn't uh, interfere with the boxwood and so we don't crush it or break it. We're going to try a double layer of plastic. We're not going to cut the plastic till we're completely finished, just so we make sure that we completely have the, um, the fountain encased in plastic on the top. And we'll cover that with, with cut green, with greens and stuff, just so we don't um, take a chance on the fountain freezing. So let me go hold that plastic so we can get some dirt in there. That can't go down in there. Can that go down in there a little bit more? Okay. Should it go down in there? Should it go down in there? No. No. Just the, just the good one. Go ahead. Well, we're kind of shy over here. I think. Well, maybe we don't need as much dirt as we want. I don't think we're going to be far enough over over here. Oh my god. So it's partially frozen at this point already. All right, so this dirt is a little damp, which is good because the idea is that we just want the dirt to freeze um, in here so we have things that will last for, you know, a couple of months, at least through New Year's, hopefully. Okay, let's um, let's get the boxwood and the support in here first, and then we'll fill it in with with dirt, and then I'll come back with with the uh, with greens when we're all done with that. We may have to cut some of this boxwood down. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get that boxwood in here. All right, so this is just a boxwood that I picked up from Home Depot. All right, so let's make a hole for that. Can you hold on to the boxwood? Okay, okay let's see. Perfect. Okay, want to see if that looks like it's in the center? Because I've got roses behind me and that doesn't work. Move it this way? Mm -hmm. Yes. How's that? Fine. Okay, let's just get that in pretty good. So we'll, we'll have to finish filling around it. Now we're not going to put any biotone or anything like that. When we take this out in the spring, if it's still alive, uh, we'll put it in the ground somewhere. For right now, let's just see if we can. Does it look like it's in the center of the fountain? Okay, let's see if we can. We're going to have to really stretch this thing to get it over it. You want to loosen the, uh, loosen that maybe? 
Yep. There you go. Okay. So we really love this this little plant support, and it seemed like a shame to just have it in the basement for the for the winter. So let's see. Are we? Are our? Is it? That one looks like it needs to come over a little bit. Okay. Yep. You want to step back and look at it? You want me to? You want me to step back and look at it? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me go over here. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay. All right. All right, I'm going to hold it. You grab the dirt. Let's fill, the, fill this all the way up. And like I said, I don't want to cut the plastic until we're... Until I get... I have a whole bucket of greens here. That I'll show you. Whoops. Oops. I'm going to try and hold this upright while you get that dirt in there. We're really going to pack this dirt down. Um, especially because we, we need to make sure we're anchoring this. Um, we're debating about whether to put some uh, lights on this. Um, we need more around the crown of the plant here. Okay, the back is covered. What do you got in the front there? Okay. This bag is not as wet as the other bag was, which may not be a good thing. It's uh, kind of dry. Don't really want to get all kinds of water in here. I think this is going to work out pretty good. Love to know what you think so far. All right, let's. I've got. I've got a whole bucket of uh, stems. We're going to cut the stems as we put them in there. And I think this this pile of dirt is not as wet as the one below it. I think we're going to have to put a little bit of water in here, also to keep the stems in here. So let's. Let's do that. Let's get a little water in there before I get to the stem. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pine layer just to try to start. I'm cutting the ends and just to try to cover the edge of the plastic. I mean, we'll build it up a lot more, but just to get it going, we're going to just put that in there. I can go back and get more pine if I need it, but I have a ton of spruce. Um, they're pretty thick. Um, if you follow me, you know that I have a very large uh, spruce tree, so I just cut these branches. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be working our way up, and we'll cover it, and we'll cut the plastic when we're finished. So the reason I'm cutting the the branches as I put them in, um, you know, the dirt is is wet now, so hopefully the dirt will freeze, and you'll, you know, the branches will last, hopefully, 
till the beginning of the year. <laughs> I mean, the idea with, you know, any of these outdoor arrangements, obviously your, your greens are not going to last a super, they're not going to last till March. But if we can just get them to, you know, make it through the holidays, that's the idea.
Well, it's time to start decorating for Christmas. So we're getting the pumpkins and all that kind of stuff um, off the porch, cleaning the porch. Um, we've started with a small tree that's got a self-timing light. Um, we've put it in a pot with some dirt. And this, this tree was from Pottery Barn and it came with a metal plate on the bottom. However, we actually screwed this to another metal plate to actually hold it in place. Um, so the pot is filled up with dirt for weight because obviously we don't want this to blow over. And then we have a metal pot and a metal, and a metal uh, base. I'm gonna put some snow around this and then we'll continue to start decorating uh, the porch. So phase one. I had a, uh, a half inch uh, thick um plate cut to a 11 inch diameter. Um, we were able to uh, uh, drill some holes and bolt the uh, existing plate to this heavy metal plate for, for uh, weight and balance. All right, so we're hoping that this will be stable enough to keep it from blowing over. Because uh, ideally for our porch, I don't really want this to be in the corner. Sorry, I'm in my shadow. There's no way around that. Um, I don't want it to be in the corner because nobody will see it. So we we had it, we cut the plate so it just fits in the top of this um, container that we have. But otherwise, people won't see it. So let's see if we can get it stabilized and um, we'll show you what it looks like when we get it done. So we're starting to decorate for the holidays just a little bit. Um, we got the porch cleaned off. We got a... <laughs> We got, a, we got a tree up, um, a little tree outside. We'll finish decorating. I got to clean the front door. Got to do a bunch of stuff. So we'll keep taking you along as we, we do when stuff. When it's dark later, I will get, the, uh, get a picture of what that's going to look like so I can decide if I want to do anything else to it. And the same thing with this uh, little tree that we put up. I'm going to put some stuff here in the corner. I'm going to clean the door. going to finish. We just washed off the porch. So a little bit at a time, start decorating for the holidays. It's a little soon for us. We don't usually ever decorate till after Thanksgiving, but I wanted to kind of bring you guys along so I could just show you some of the stuff that we're doing. So next up will be um, the wreath and we'll do garlands. <clears throat> uh, we'll do um, a lantern and some other decorative things, some branches and that stuff. Um, the fountain uh conversion i'm really happy with it uh i added some uh very large sugar pine cones you can see them here um again i'm sorry there was a whole section that i thought the video was running that it wasn't this is what it looks like at night um and i i think overall i'm i'm really pleased with it and um please follow me on instagram um, or my blogs at lensydesigns.com, always available for garden design. Um, see you in the next video.